everybody! After Talking Box CEO Pavel Salas shared our plans and told us briefly how does a new roadmap look like, we decided to ask for some more tech details. And the best person to ask is our Chief Technical Officer Max Lagruzin. Hi Max! Can you tell us about yourself? What exactly do you do at Talking Box? My journey as an IT expert began at Kiwi Payment Service where I worked for 10 years in total. I started as a tech support specialist and moved forward to the position of head of software development for self-service terminals. Since 2011, I've been really interested in cryptocurrencies, started with mining, then switched to trading. I remember all Bitcoin's ups and downs, and I think they were related to different imperfections of trading platforms of those times. This February I was invited to work at Tokenbox. I finally had a unique possibility to test my management skills in the field of cryptocurrency. I honestly think that the next cycle of the cryptocurrency's growth will be related to the development of tools and services such as Tokenbox, which will constantly work on lowering the threshold for entering the crypto industry. At this moment, I work on a broad range of tasks recruitment and building a perfect IT team, platforms architecture development. I'm also looking for and choosing the right tools and arranging the working process. Okay, so we now basically understand how does the new roadmap look like and what are the main components of the platform, its main features. So the platform itself will have the following features. A trading platform which allows investors and traders to process their deals with the maximum possible liquidity. We plan to aggregate the biggest marketplaces through our gateway and give the investors an opportunity to make deals with maximum liquidity as well as with maximum volume. Also, there will be an electronic wallet with depositing and withdrawal options and direct convertibility of crypto assets. These are the things that will be visible and available for our users. The main features we will certainly hide, like under the hood, such things as integration modules for various crypto markets and payment services, also expert analytical systems like system for traders and funds ratings, development of a recommendation system. Also, there are multiple security services, AML and KYC services. Particular attention will be given to securing storage and transmission of the crypto funds. The main steps of creating Talking Box are scheduled up until the end of this year. Can you specify the timeline? Are there any features that will be available anytime soon? We have actualized the roadmap to the end of 2018. I can now share some steps that are scheduled for the next four months. At the end of this month, roughly in the beginning of the next one, we will release a basic functionality of the platform. It includes users' registration and authorization and the KYC procedure. We will also introduce a bonus program for those who have registered and referred the platform to their friends and other users. At the end of May, we will release a full version of the cryptocurrency wallet that will support the top 10 cryptocurrencies and will be able to convert them. At the end of July, we plan to release a trading functionality, trading from a demo account and one of the main crypto exchanges included. Which exchange would that be? We are now up to decide. When it comes to creating token box, which issues are the most crucial for you and your team? Safety maybe or something else? Token Box will be a very big and complicated platform, comparable to and even exceeding most of the crypto exchanges and payment services. Very particular attention is paid to a wide range of matters. Security is of course among them. If you ask to name the most specific issues, my personal top three is sustainability, our system must operate 24-7, 365 days a year. I personally like approach of Jan Kuhn from WhatsApp. His guys use 
needs to write the date of the latest security breach or another incident on the board and wiped it out and reset the counter when a new problem occurred. The second point is efficiency. Fintech services have a very specific nature. At the peak working moments, their load can be dozen times higher than during relatively quiet periods. This could be observed in December, when even big cryptocurrency platforms stop processing their users' requests. And of course, safety. Our service is all about users' money. That's why we pay a lot of attention to the safety of funds and services. All in all, we are working hard at the moment. We go on with shaping the team, and I hope that we will soon be able to welcome our first users. Thank you very much, Max. I hope we'll enjoy the platform's functionality very soon. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel because more interesting interviews are coming. Like and share our videos, okay? See you soon.